Okay, welcome back, everybody. Welcome, 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 Primetime Squad. I am so sorry about the um, inconvenience. We was having some technical difficulties earlier, and my live wasn't come through. Um, it was saying, like, low output or something like that. It was real blurry. So I started it up again. I got the video together that I wanted to show you guys tonight. But just to um, let you know... Again, for those of you who just coming in and didn't hear the first part of my live, um, last night, Samantha and I had discussed, you know, on our Sisters from Another Mr. Um, reviews segment, you know, we were discussing John Gray and the allegations of him cheating and a baby being out there and, you know, uh, and him, you know, getting on his pulpit in front of his congregation, confessing to some discretions. You know, and apologizing to his wife and how he bought her a $200,000 Lamborghini, you know, and all kind of other stuff. Um, and today, <laughs> while I was surfing the um, social media, the YouTube, Instagrams, um, just when I thought I had seen it all and then heard it all especially from church members now we discussed last night how some people don't go to church anymore how they have no no you know pastors like all these pastors out here doing all these discretions stealing sexual harassment sexual assault cheating on their wives you know molest molesting children you know a lot of people don't go to church no more and we were saying you know if you, if this happened to you and your pastor cheated on his wife and admitted it, and of course there's other allegations out there as well, um, would you stay at church? Would you leave your church? Would you forgive your pastor? Would you request that your pastor step down? You know, we discussed it all that last night, but today y'all, I done seen it all. I done seen it all. I'm going to show y'all this video. Um, one of John Gray's uh, congregational members she done went ham, eggs, and baloney on social media today. Going off on anybody who does not have anything good to say about her pastor, John Gray. So I'm going to let y'all check this out, and then we're going to talk about it. So one moment. Good morning to all you saints, pretend saints, and heathens. Um, I'm going to send out a PSA because I am a member of Relentless Church, and y'all been coming after my pastor pretty hard, so I'm going to say some things that he can't say. So I'm going to say, fuck you, in the name of Jesus. In behalf of Aventer, his lovely wife, fuck you and kiss her ass as she rolls off in the Lambo that her husband has provided for her. Uh -huh. Kiss her ass on the four wheels of grace, mercy, the Holy Ghost, and the spirit that her husband has bestowed upon her. Now, this is what I'm going to need y'all to do since you want to be so goddamn judgmental. Log your ass on to Relentless Church on Sundays. They got two services. Tasha Combs and Todd going to get you together. But see, y'all going to get up off my motherfucking pastor. That's what you going to do. And to some of you pastors and mothers, you need to have some body bitches out there in your congregation who can rise up. And when you see the devil, we can step on his head and say, fuck you in the name of Jesus. Okay. And another thing I have an issue with, even if he did, which he did not do, okay? Even if he did, he apologized with a Lambo. You got a bunch of bitches out here where your nigga ain't apologizing with nothing but that same dusty dick that he been out there giving to every other bitch while his dick been dancing on their cervix. Okay? All he giving you is five outside cheering and ten STDs and the HPV virus you got to take a goddamn shot for. Okay? So at least he he acknowledges his wife. He brings her on stage when he's on Lakewood on Wednesday. That's all you hear is avatar, 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 avatar. God damn. Some of y'all niggas ain't even acknowledging y'all motherfucking ass. All y'all are some baby mamas. And what is that? Bitch with babies. The last thing I'm going to say is in defense of my pastor is, um, 
First of all, that Lambo was an anniversary gift to his wife. Okay? Secondly, somebody who was invited there took that picture. So that's a lesson for everybody. Be careful about who you invite to your shit. Because I'm pretty sure if he didn't want it that televised a film, he got enough money, he could have had a film crew. He didn't do that. So that's somebody, bitch ass, who was invited who didn't have the right to do that shit. And they leaked that shit. Okay? And thirdly, I have been at that man's church where he has taken up offering. And after offering, he has told the whole congregation, whoever needs some money, come get some money out these buckets. What the what pastor do you know do that shit right now here and today? So that's why I'm not gonna let y'all come for my motherfucking pastor. Okay, and my last post for today, for all you judgmental, holier than thou ass saints who trying to be the uh dictation tongue patrol department, y'all can kiss my ass on a good colon cleanse day. That's really how I feel about y'all motherfucking ass. Okay, because as much as y'all want to act like y'all Christians and saints and y'all don't do no motherfucking wrong, I bet you ain't got no Bible under that pillow. I bet you got a good old bullet or a vibrator under there because I don't give a damn if you a Christian or a saint. I bet your clitoris still clitorate, ho. Yeah. Yeah. So what you doing? Some of your shit probably clitorating now as we motherfucking talking. Are you turning down some dick or are you using your fingers? Bitch, don't come for me because I am what you want. Trust and believe. And let me say this, because I'm finna go spend time with my son. Okay, for whatever reason, y'all think because I come into you that you may be mad. Let me tell you something. It's not a bitch alive that the Lord have created to make me mad. Okay? So just because I comment to you, I'ma comment because bitch, you on my page. I'm not coming for you on your shit. I done went to doctors for this shit. Motherfuckers try to figure out why my blood pressure stays so low because I am the CEO of the fuck you department. So just because I comment, don't ever think, my nigga, that you have made me mad. This shit is comical because y'all can gang up because I'm defending somebody. Now, if I was saying, oh, bless John Gray and his wife, I hope they have a happy marriage, I wouldn't be getting this, I mean, this, this many don't goddamn comments. But because I'm defending the man because we all have sinned and because I have the freedom of fucking speech and it say freedom of speech. It don't say freedom of speech, comma, freedom of speech, semicolon. It's freedom of motherfucking, motherfucking speech, period. Well, I see a lot of people had some bullshit to say, which is okay. I don't give a fuck, but let me tell you something. Let me give y'all some Instagram etiquette, okay? First of all, when you got the comment from a private page, you already ain't shit. When you got to go through all that rigmarole you got to go through to create a fake page to comment, you already ain't shit. Then, now you, you on a private page, you got two posts, five followers, and you following 4,000. Nigga, yo... Look, go check your low self-esteem ass in some motherfucking well. Because see, now what y'all have done, you have upgraded to package five of the fuck you department. Okay? So the first level was fuck you with an F. But see, now you are in package five of the fuck you. Yeah, that's with the PH. So y'all on the fuck you level with the PH. Be blessed, bitches. See, let me tell y'all something. It's levels. You know, you know how y'all say it's levels to shit? So it's levels to Christianity. That's what a lot of people don't teach y'all. And I'm not to the level where I'm ready to sit on the front pew with the little white handkerchief on my head passing out the Lord's Supper. I'm not that girl. I'm the girl sitting by that door ready to catch one of you IG keyboard gangsters and be like, hey, little mom, let me holler at you outside under that carport. Now, what you felt like you need to say to me? Now, see, that's me. Because, see, some of y'all feel like y'all in the ministry are trying to correct people. Some of y'all need to be in the ministry of stay in the fuck of your lane ministry or stop coming for people ministry. Because, see, what God should have told you before you decided to come at me is I'm not I'm not finished with that fool. That fool going to get in your ass. She don't mean you no harm. But what you're not going to do is feel like you can come at her sideways and catacomb her. Because she going to get in your ass with no jelly. Let me tell you my first encounter. Okay? 16. In church. Pregnant. One of my old mothers. Mm. You 16. Pregnant. With a little nose down. I said, yes, I am. I said, but you trying to act like all your kids got the same daddy. Then she won't look at me like I said something disrespectful. 
Now, that's what let me see that them some of the most cockroach, built, bow-legged, judgmental motherfuckers I have ever met. And I said, I'm not going to be like that. Because Christians are human. We have flaws. We are not perfect. It's a whole lot of cussing Christians. Don't get it twisted. I bet you if you gather up a whole bunch of them phones on Sunday, it ain't a whole bunch of uh, King James Version scriptures. You're going to find a little porn hub. Directions to another bitch house that ain't their wife. Directions to another nigga house that's not their husband. Oh, Christians do some shady shit too. Lord, how mercy. Lord, how mercy, how mercy, how mercy. Oh my God. Did y'all share this video? <laughs> I, I am truly like, how do y'all feel about that? Like, I am at a loss for words. I'm sorry, I'm trying to share this video right now. I am at a loss for words. I I can truly say that she is probably probably his biggest supporter, his biggest fan thus far. Thus far. I mean not only not only did she take God's name in vain over and over and over and over and over again, which is like, in my book, from how I was raised, one of the biggest sins there is. I mean, how many times did she say, F you in the name of Jesus, kiss my ass in the name of Jesus? I mean, I'm like, what the, did somebody set her up for this? Did she come to the decision herself? To go on a very public platform and record this video to, 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 to defend her pastor, John Gray of Relentless Church. How do y'all feel about that? That was, I mean, I, I'm just like... I can't believe it. I really, I really can't believe this. And I, I, I would have to believe, I would have to think that John Gray, Aventer, I mean, the deacons in the church, the mothers of the church wouldn't, would, could not in no way, shape, or form be pleased with this represent, representation um, of their church. Now, like she did say, like she did say, um, there are a lot of people in church who curse. There are a lot of people who, in church who curse. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, which we kept reiterating last night on our video last night. Um, but do y'all think she went too far? I mean, I think she went too far. I mean, she was like, <laughs> not only is she a member of John Gray's church, you know, relentless church, but she is also the CEO of the FU department who had a PSA to send out to all sinners, saints, and heathens. Um... If she wouldn't have told me that she went to church, I would have thought she was one of them sinners and heathens. No, no judgment though. No judgment though. Because I, I slip up a curse word every now and then. I mean, most people do, whether you go to church or not. But she went on her, her social media platform to defend her pastor in that manner. In that manner, like, 
did she not think at all like how this would look, how it would reflect upon him? I mean, he's already out in the spotlight. Um, people are alleging that he has a baby out there. I mean, that he didn't he, not not just one woman that he admitted to having some kind of discretion with, you know, on his pulpit to the congregation and his wife and you know what not. But there's allegations. There's more than just that woman. And she's up there talking about, um, I'm not mad. I'm not making this video because I'm mad. Girl, you was big mad. You was mega mad. Mega, like y'all, mega church. You was mega mad. Like, mega mad. And you up there just, just using so much blasphemy in the name of Jesus? Come on! Where they do that at? What kind of representation... Is this for your pastor? This ain't no pastor that's been cheated allegedly on his wife in some little hick town in Timbuktu. Um, this is like a mega pastor who has a national um he show his church uh programs uh is national, he has a TV show. I mean, this how you represent your pastor? Girl, this how you represent your pastor? I mean, and then, then like, <laughs> after a few minutes on the video, she's like, oh, what y'all need to do is log on on Sundays to the Relentless website and tune in for our services after F you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Girl, bye. This is so wrong on so many levels. I mean, if you're going to defend your pastor, I don't blame you for wanting to defend your pastor. Even, even though he stood up and admitted that he had some faults. His wife did too. She admitted that there's some chick, some broad, who try to step in there, but they ain't gonna let her ruin their relationship. They admitted this. But you on social media, on your Instagram, going off like this, you sure you go to church? You sure you belong to his church? Or you just somebody out here clout chasing, pretending like you go to his church and just clout chasing? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. She was like, y'all gonna get off my mother effing pastor and was saying other churches, they need to have their deacons and mothers. You know, uh, whenever the devil rises his head up, y'all need to say F you in the name of Jesus every time the devil rise up in your church too. I'm sorry, but I can't picture my pastor saying nothing like that. And I'm not saying he is like the saints of saints. But I just can't picture my pastor telling us to say F you in the name of... That don't even supposed to go in the same sentence together. Like, I don't even feel right repeating what you said. And I'm not even saying the whole curse word. I'm just kind of like abbreviating it. But y'all know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. And then she's like, but y'all women out there, y'all got uh men who's having sex with like five, ten other women, giving y'all STDs. He got kids all over the place. Like, are you making some kind of excuse for what your pastor did and trying to say, well, y'all out there you know, sleeping around and got dudes who not representing you well because your pastor stood on the pulpit or stands on his pulpit um, often giving shout outs to Eventer. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I said it several times. I love me some Eventer. I think she is such a sweet, 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 beautiful person. Um, and yeah, you should represent your wife and you should shout her out and, you know, acknowledge her, you know, from time to time in front of people, if not all the time. But what does one have to do with the other? Like, 
you lost me there. You, you lost me there. Like, you really, really lost me there. And then um, I do remember, like she said, once upon a time or, you know, it, it could be more often than what we saw online, you know, when they was recording uh, one of their church um, services and he had took up the offering and he was telling people who was in need, if you need some of this money out of this offering place, come on down, come on down, you know, <laughs> like on that game show, come on down and get some money out this plate. Um, again, I, I, I guess I don't get where she's going. Like, okay, I understand your pastor does good stuff and he gives back to the church and all that. But is is he better than the next man who's out in the world cheating on his wife? Because there is a difference. He's a pastor who we are supposed to hold in a higher regard than just some lame dude laying up in five, ten different women's bed, spreading diseases and creating babies. Um, again, all have sinned and fallen short. We all have sinned and fallen short. But again, like you comparing, like this is a pastor of a mega church. You can't compare him to just some Joe Blow off the street. You just can't. You just can't. And then she was like, <laughs> if y'all don't lay off my pastor, <laughs> y'all can kiss her ass on a good, clean colon day. A good colon cleansing day. <laughs> At least she gonna have it clean for y'all. At least she gonna have it clean. <laughs> And talking about women having sex toys under their bed. Like, she was saying so much, so much. I'm just like, what? And you representing your pastor? You representing your church? Mm. I don't know, come Sunday. I don't know if you still going to even be allowed to come through them double doors. If you're going to be able to sit on any of the pews. Any of the pews, and and you know, um, one thing I do agree, did agree with her on, is that when she said there are levels to Christianity. Now, granted, there probably shouldn't be. Let a pastor tell you it probably shouldn't be. You either a Christian or you a sinner. That's how most you know pastors, preachers, you know. And that's how you either a sinner, you can't have one foot in, you can't have one foot out. That's how I've been taught all my life. That's how I've been taught all my life. But I, I get where she's coming from because when you out there in the world and you sinning and you doing this, you drinking or smoking or doing, you know, just doing whatever, um, just doing whatever out there. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not picking picking things like one sin is better than another. I'm not doing that. I'm just throwing stuff out there. But and then you come to the church, you come to the Lord, you get saved, you get baptized, you know, filled with the Holy Spirit, whatnot. And sometimes it is hard to just be on the straight and narrow, you know, just turn away all things that you used to do. It's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. But she was like... <laughs> She was like, it's levels, it's levels to this Christianity, and I ain't ready to be sitting on no pew in the front row with a big old church hat and a white handkerchief <laughs> and a fan. <laughs> She's that one that's going to be sitting by the door ready to throw hands, honey. She said, you can get it in the you-know-what with no Vaseline. That's what she said. And you representing who again? Now, I know Mr. Gray, Pastor Gray ain't sent you to represent him. I know he ain't. I can't think of one, one person in church who can possibly see any good outcome come of these videos that you made on your social media platform. Now, I get it. Again, I get defending your pastor, defending your friends, defending your parents, you know, to the end. But 
this could have been done a totally, totally, totally different way with, with a lot less, with a lot less blasphemous against the Lord, against the Lord. Now he got to go back in public again and clean this mess up. Like, did you think about that? Did you think about this is going to be all over the place? He's already trying to clean up. They already got people up there trying to clean up after this big old mess, this big old um, drama that's in the church. Um, allegations and uh, it's already hard enough for them out there. Him and Aventure, his wife. And then you put this video public on your platform. F you in the name of Jesus. I'm saying this because my pastor and Aventure can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this because this... I done seen it all. I done seen it all. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Put it down in the chat. Let me know how you feel. Um... Do y'all do y'all think she was right? Like, like, do y'all think what she did was, I mean, served a purpose for the grays? Do you, or do you think this will hurt the grays even more than their image has already suffered? Let me know. Put it down in the chat. Put it down in the chat. <sighs> this is a lot. This is a lot. And I can't believe she said she wasn't mad. And this is all comical to her. This ain't funny. I mean, okay. It's funny because I can't believe it. Like, can you believe this? Like, she's up there, my nigga. Um, I'm defending my pastor. Um, I really think you put, you didn't add more fuel to the fire, sus. Sus. And I don't know your name, sister. I'm going to just call you sister. Um, <laughs> I'm going to just call you the cursing sister. Cursing sister of Relentless Church. That's what I'm going to call you. But if people weren't looking at him sideways before, what do you think they're doing now? I mean, this has to be such a huge embarrassment to the entire congregation. To the entire congregation. This has got to be... <sighs> Mm, mm. Okay, y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Let me know how y'all feel. Um, for y'all who just tuned in, rewind the tape to the beginning and let me know your thoughts on the cursing sister of Relentless Church. But in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out.